Hello Assassins! <laughs> Welcome to part 16 of the Phantom Manor ride built in Minecraft. Now today, well well well, um, we have done many intros in this one little space so it is finally exciting to say we can do the intro from here now. Woohoo! <laughs> Basically we're going to be building this section today um, and this is actually the sortie or the exit to the ride which means we are at the very end of the Phantom Manor ride. So technically today we can actually go ahead and finish up the uh, the sort of dioramas here. We can then move on into the actual exit area down here with the uh, tombstones in the wall. Um, and then we come on to the mirrors and then finally the exit conveyor belt and this little exit space here or the entrance um, if you're a disabled person. So um, yeah and then of course we connect up the track again round and down to the main entrance just here. Very exciting stuff indeed. Let's grab some materials assassins and get started with part 16. Now then, any sane person wouldn't usually start with the exit, but I am not sane. <laughs> we are gonna go ahead and start by building kind of the exit. We're gonna build the exit sort of building, I guess. We're gonna need ourselves some chiseled nether bricks, some magma blocks, some stripped spruce wood, some gray stained glass panes, some spruce fences, a soul lantern, spruce stairs, spruce trap doors of course, and spruce slabs as well. Now then, we're going to need to build a track up to the exit sort of building in order to get everything in the right spaces. And remember, we need to leave ourselves one less block due to the error I made up on this way. But that is fine because we have the mountain just here and the building will help us determine where this little sort of shaving off is going to be. <laughs> when we put it like that it sounds much nicer than it is right then so first things first we need to build the track up to this point just here now of course we have ourselves three layers here so we're going to go up one two three and along to this corner here which is going to be eight blocks of this nether in total so that's one two three four five six seven and the eighth one just over here like so perfect now we need to do ourselves a 9, so we're going to start here, although technically, mm, let's just count. We're just going to go one past it anyways, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, of course, and 8, because we have this one already there, perfect. So as long as you get to this magma block, that is perfect. Just my terrible counting didn't help. <laughs> now we need to go ahead and sort of uh, start our different thing here, really. So, of course, we have a little bit of a change on this side due to the saloon here, um, which is in the right space. It's just that we have like this extra bit of corner here. Now, we're going to sort that out in a second. Let's continue with the track up this way. So, we have this section just here. That's perfect. We'll build this one down by another one. So, that's now worth three blocks this way. And then we'll do this one, that one, and that one. So, that is now worth three as well. Now, we want ourselves another three just up here. So, we'll go in this middle down and down again. So we have the three just in there like so. And now we're gonna to need to go up three from this one just here. There, there, and another one, yep. Just like so. So along for three. And then this next one is gonna go along for four just to be past the three just here. Just like so. Everything at layer three, by the way guys, because we're still on this layer. We only start to decline it as we're going down this section of track just here and back around to the main entrance. Looking good. So now we'll come back to this one over here and we'll go to this one, building ourselves one, two and three, just that we start to see that little corner going in to the uh, the small building down this way. That is perfect. So now we can take ourselves the materials for this building just over here. Now we have ourselves everything marked out for the corner and whatnot. We can take magma, we can go to this one, just this one and then along for another diagonal just there perfect and now we have where the building's going to be it's going to be just up from this magma one we'll do the three in the floor there which we don't see of course but then we want to go four past it one two three four four for now past it like so we'll go here for one and then we'll do ourselves one two three on this side over here it's kind of like a, uh, a strange J just there with the sunset in the middle. Perfect. <laughs> Let's take two of our glass panes just here. I always say planes, but it is panes. 
and then we'll do ourselves another two kind of sprues over there. No, we'll do one actually, just there like so. Looking good. Now we'll need to take ourselves stairs going along the section, but I'd like to get a different perspective on this before I start teaching this, just to be on the safe side. So for the stairs, we're going to go to this top corner and we will fill it in with another block. Then we'll do ourselves an upside down stair on that block so that the back of it is facing kind of the back of the build here. Then we do one step that's going to go along for another one and another one past that, so that's worth three in total. Then we'll do ourselves this uh, second layer just here. And then we need to continue some up and stairs going up for another layer. So we'll do another one just here and then three stairs that way. Don't forget to add in your stripped spruce wood back here just to cover up any little gaps down below. And that's perfect. Then we can add in ourselves a spruce trap door on this one, which is in line with that top upside down stair. And then we'll do ourselves a spruce fence in line with the uh, top of the window on the left side with a soul lantern on top of that one. So it kind of closes up the three um, blocks here, trap door, lantern and fence below. Now we can use the lantern going in here and adding an upside down stair just there. And that is of course where the uh, bridge between the sort of two edges of the building go over the track just in here. Pretty cool stuff. Now we need to take ourselves some more stripped spruce wood. We'll do one block here with another trap door folded down. And then we'll do two across here, which are going to have the sign for salty and exit on, which we'll add later. And then we need to do two more blocks this way, which will have our trap doors on again, like so. As you can see, it's going to be a replica of this side. So we can literally copy this again, which is one and uh, just one block. Perfect. One block. And then we'll do our three stairs, just like this. I believe on this side, it's actually going to be two stairs, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Perfect. Let's add our upside down stair here. And then our next layer of stairs above. Oops, placing them in every single wrong direction. <laughs> and then we need to drop down on this one, which is the one. Well, if we do our upside down stair here on that trapdoor. Oops, it's the closest trapdoor just here, leaving the upper two. Yep. And then we'll do ourselves one, two, three, four to come down here. And then we'll add the three below. Then we'll add three again. And then three, one, two, three, four above to connect to the stair. And then we need to close up this gap by one. And then we have another gap just down there that needs closing up. So we have the two blocks available on both sides for another set of windows. And if you want to add the wood in below that one, that's absolutely fine. It looks very slender when it's like this, but of course it's going to be all landscaped over here as well. So it'll be fine. That is looking good. Now if we end ourselves another fence just here. And then we do ourselves a soul lantern above that one. Then you have a nice symmetrical building just here. Cool. Okay, so the next step is going to be to build um, the next sort of area of the roof. Now this gets a bit tricky because we have to add in ourselves quite a lot of slabs and whatnot. So we're sort of sectioning off the, uh, the top of the roof here. What we'll do for that is we'll take ourselves up to down stairs just here behind our normal stairs. Like so. And then we're going to add slabs for four blocks in between them like so. Now we have this little slit in here, which we're going to go ahead and close up with our stripped spruce wood just above. Like so. Now we need to add in ourselves three again. One, two, three. Oops, actually four just up here. My mistake. And then two up here as well. You can see that's going to obviously uh, be included in the entire thing. So if you want to come back down this way and add in yourself the upside down stair again, and then three stairs down here to match to the opposite side. And then we can start to build this up again. So we'll do ourselves, oops, sorry, then three normal stairs on both sides. And again, and then we need to make these into a point. So we'll do it again on the very top two blocks as well. Back to back, which is pretty cool. And there we go, looking good. Now it still looks a little bit sparse in the center. So we just go ahead and add in ourselves up to down stairs in those four block spaces like so. Amazing. Now that should be an idea. Look, let me start that again. <laughs> that should be a direct replica of the one we built in the Phantom Manor tutorials for the actual manor itself. So that will be the exit from the actual manor. And that is, you know, how we built it as well in there. So uh, it should look the exact same. So if you ever need to refer back to something, go ahead and look at your original one. If it doesn't match, then go ahead and just change it up until you have the right one. So uh, yeah. 
pretty simple stuff after that. Awesome. That looks really, really cool, guys. Well done. All right, then, guys. So I've gone ahead and grabbed some new materials. So I'm going to quickly refresh my inventory here. We have ourselves some chiseled nether bricks, a magma block, spruce trap doors, spruce signs, some black concrete, some mossy stone bricks, some cracked stone bricks, some grey concrete powder, and a warped sign as well. We're going to go ahead and place ourselves the spruce signs up here. On this left one, we'll write ourselves on the second line down, SORTY. You can either do this in all caps or you can do it in uh, like a uppercase S and then lowercase other letters just here. SORTY. And then if we go second line down on this right sign, we'll write ourselves just exit on this one. Like so. Perfect. Just again to keep the replica sort of going here. Now we'll go ahead and build the other side of the track here so we can start to match up sort of where everything is going to be. So what I am going to do here is I'm going to work backwards from the actual exit. So I'm going to go up here where the track is. I'm going to count from this block and this block with my grey concrete powder. And this is where we know that the exit is obviously. So from this point, we're going to bring ourselves back with some magma. Magma again. Magma a third time. And then we come onto the strip over here. Now our strip may be different from my original one. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, and then we have a sixth one just here, like so. Perfect. That is actually not too bad at all. Good stuff. What I was thinking is we could actually just add in ourselves a block of track just there if you want to. Maybe even knock out this corner, replace it like that, and then replace this little block with some core stuff. Up to you guys if you want to do that. So feel free, but you can leave it how it was as well. That's absolutely fine. Uh, yeah, that looks really good actually. Now we have this space for the mountain and everything beyond this point should be back to normal. Whew, okay, simple fix. Perfect. <laughs> awesome. So now if we go ahead and double up the size of our exit, I'm going to swap out my magma again. Let me just check I don't need it again. Nope. With my stripped spruce wood. So the same as this uh, material just here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to double up on the sides. So this one, this one. And then the ones in the middle as well. This one here. So around the window frame, but not on the window. Otherwise, the uh, glass panes will connect to it. Then it will look quite... Uh, well, if I look, if I show you, it just doesn't look cool. It kind of adds like a little bit of a line in the middle. That is not what we're going for. So we have this just here. So we've doubled up the size of the exit just here. Just by another layer. Looks good. And if we come up here and do the same, then that'll be good to go. You don't have to put any uh, blocks behind the um, stairs if you don't want to. That is cool to leave them be. That actually looks absolutely fine the way it is. Yeah, I like that. That's looking good. Okay then, so the next thing to do is going to be to close up the windows. Because obviously we have sort of holes through these and these are actually windows. Which we don't want. Surprisingly, we don't want actual windows. So we're going to go ahead and take ourselves some mossy stone bricks for this right one. So right one if we're facing sort of as we're going back into the right. We'll come onto this one. We'll take stone bricks from the floor and upwards. You can go, uh, I recommend just going upwards to here. So where we have the sort of stair there, upside down. Then we'll do ourselves another diagonal one here. And then a third diagonal one just here. And then we can do ourselves two lots of these normal ones just here. But again, they're going to start diagonally away, just like so. So it's like a new wall starts just in here. Now on this other side, we're going to do these in line with the building, just here. So I'll build this up again to the upside down stair, but for two lots. Then we're going to do number three over here. It's going to be one, two, three with our mossy. Then we'll do two lots of cracked, and then we'll end it with two mossy above. So again, one, two, three with the mossy, two cracked, and then two above with the mossy, just like so. And these are going to be for the tombstones that we saw on the exit of the ride. Nice one. That's looking awesome. And this is kind of the uh, sort of ending passage to the ride. So, yeah, it's quite an important section, this one. We're getting it done now, which is great. So that looks really good. Now, the next thing to do will just be adding one more pillar of our mossy just over here. Again, diagonally away. Then the track will feed around this corner and hopefully connect to that one just there. But if not, we can always re sort of look at that in a bit. That's absolutely fine. 
Wonderful. Okay then, for the signs on the uh, tombstones, we're going to need to go ahead and write ourselves on this top one. So again, do it on the cracked. We'll write on the second line down. This may be a little bit awkward, so just be prepared, guys. Captain. I used, uh, I just wrote cap and then T. Then I did the uh, full stop just down here. And then I'm going to go for uh, Rowan. All caps again. Rowan D falls. So again, like a play on words just here. Awesome. Then the one below this, we're going to do ourselves Barry uh, Cloud, is it? Claude? Claude, I think. Barry Claude. So let's do this one. Barry and then Claude just here. Like so. And then up here, we're going to do ourselves another one, which is going to say Sawyer Bottom, <laughs> uh, which we'll do just here. Honestly, when I, uh, um, I'm sat on the ride, I'm too busy sort of soaking it all up that I don't actually pay attention to the little details like this where you should be sort of looking around for things. So I really must get on it again so I can check these out. And then this last one down here is going to be uh, Ignitus Iggy Knight. So we're going to do this on the second line down. I'll help you guys spell this. So we're going to go for I G N A T I U S. Then we'll do ourselves some speech marks just here. And we'll write Iggy in this one. End speech marks just there. And then we we'll start writing night, and that should go down to the next layer. Yeah, perfect. Like so. Come out of that, and you should have yourselves four tombstones in here, like so. Epic. Liking that. That is looking cool. So now we can take our grey concrete powder. We can go from this bit here, because it matches up to the other side now. And we can just fill in the floor here, so that no one's going to fall through. We don't want any more deaths on the Phantom Manor ride. So we're going to go for doing this just here. Don't worry about this one being diagonal, that is actually supposed to happen, so not to worry about that one. If I get back to my original thing just over here, we go around the corner just here. Oops, I'm going to knock that one through, and I'm going to start to do it diagonally just here, up to that point just there with the two. Nice one. As you can see, the track is kind of going to go this way, so that's what we're trying to represent just there. So then, as far as the track goes, we need to go ahead and build from what we already have, which is down here, and we have these three just in here. We're going to go up from this with another three, of course like so, and then we'll start in this gap down here, and this one's going to be quite a long sort of strip. Now I'm going to build it a rough sort of estimate at the moment, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, could be a little bit more than that, but we'll check that out in a second. And then we're going to do this one in here, which is going to be worth one, two, three, four, five two, three, four, five, and then we'll make this one into seven, just like so, by adding in another one on the end. And that again, we'll turn the corner for these two, just here, to be continued along this way, and then that'll go back into the exit. Now it's a little bit off from the original, not to worry about that, we were going to sort that out later. But yeah, that's perfect. This is like the home stretch now, which is awesome. So now we can take our grey concrete powder from here, we can go diagonally up here, up here, next to that mossy just there, and then out again for these three just here. And that is going to end right there at the edge of the track. Perfect. And leaving two blocks just here, like so. On this side, however, we'll do the corner just here. We'll backtrack along to connect to this one. And then this actually follows it all the way to the exit sort of area, which we'll have to build later on. So you can, for now, just leave that alone. But that's brilliant. Nice. So let's come back to the outside of this area. In here we can do a little bit of detailing with our spruce trap doors. However, we will need to pick block ourselves some more core start back. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down to this corner. We're going to go ahead and build core start here. Another one here and another one here. Both of these diagonal ones will have ourselves spruce trap doors on. And then this one on the end will have ourselves a dead bush on which we'll grab in a second. For the window in here, we can stick ourselves black concrete just for a strip just there to kind of continue the diagonal walls. But of course we know that it's just gonna be that one there that covers up that wall and this one's covered up by the stone bricks. Perfect. 
let's go ahead and grab some more materials. All right then guys, so here I have the materials for the mountainside that we'll be building in a little while. We have ourselves the raw block of copper, the block of raw copper even, <laughs> granite stairs, a granite slab, some spruce slabs, some dark oak stairs, a dark oak slab, stripped dark oak wood, spruce fences, and the most important one of all, black concrete. This is super vital because we're going to go ahead and close off what, have, what we've just done in the last few episodes, which is of course the hotel and the saloon here. And once we close off the saloon, we're actually going to kind of enclose a little space here for our mountains. This will ensure we don't go ahead and build like Mount Everest. We just want a little sort of little hill basically just here. So we come on down to this side over here. Now then this one should be around six blocks in total. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. That is good. What I'm going to do is extend this one up though quite a bit. Uh, I should have checked that before we started. Let me go check. So the same as the opposite side. We'll build this one up to 14. So this is going to need to have a little scale behind it. 1, 2, 3, 4, oops, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Perfect. Now we have the 14. Remove our little scaling thing. And then we'll place this back in. The reason I always place blocks behind black concrete just to ensure uh, the height of it is because I literally can't see the little gap that we have between our blocks. Like here, it highlights it for us. Whereas the black concrete is that dark, you can't actually see the difference. Well, you can, but it's super, super light. So um, it's very, very hard to see that. But um, yeah, I recommend just using a lighter material. Then you should be able to see where you got your individual blocks. We're going to do ourselves a diagonal one just in here. Again, up to the 14. Everything beyond this point goes to 14 blocks high. So always remember that one. And then we'll do 13 blocks along this way behind the back of the saloon. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So it's going to be one block past the saloon, like so. Which is actually dead on to my original one, which I'm really chuffed about. This is going good. Right, let's build this up to the 14. And then we can work on curving this around the corner there. And then going over the sort of exit sign there. Let's remove that one block. There we go. What's cool about this is when we do the sort of uh, filling over, so you actually smooth the entire thing over, kind of cover every single section individually, it adds like a whole new perspective to the ride. It, you know, it becomes just its own entity instead of being in the open air, which looks cool, but not as cool as when it's covered up, trust me. So the next thing from the back of the saloon here is we're gonna go along this way and we're gonna build along my nice dirt trail here. It's almost like someone made a mistake. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and follow this. We'll go diagonally back from this one, just to here, where we're going to build ourselves eight along to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we're going to go up and diagonally along for two, where we'll need to go ahead and sort of start to build our corner just around here. So we're going to go diagonally up to these two. And then from the two, we're going to go using number one here, we're adding five. One, two, three, four, five, just to this one, just in here. Now that we have that laid out, if you want to get these up to the 14th block up there to be in line with that one, I mean, into the same layer, then uh, let's go ahead and do it, guys. So now we have ourselves this very ominous looking wall just here. We're gonna make it less imposing by going behind the uh, exit just here now, and then uh, sort of close up that section just there. So we have this six long wall, which is brilliant. We will next need to go ahead and build from uh, the top of the six, so up here. So one, two, we connect the one just there, adding in that two there. Now these ones can come straight down if you want them to, uh, but bear in mind we're going to actually use this later on and change up this one to be the same material as these ones. So stone bricks are going to be for the roof in this section. We'll come onto that when we do, but um, for now you can just add it in like so. That's two in there. And then we need to go diagonally again, just here for one. And this one will go straight forward this way for 12 blocks in total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Just like so. Once again, we can build these down to, well, just there for now. So, oops, I'm going to carry that along. Just over to here. Fill this in. Not too many blocks to fill in, luckily. But um, basically behind the 
exit just there is going to be the rock face. So it's almost like the mountain range is kind of um, working its way around the architecture just here, which is pretty cool. So we're trying to really incorporate this into a landscape, which is hard, but it'll look good once it's done. Nice one. So from the 12 up here behind the actual exit way, we want to come ahead and start to build, well, to get to that corner down there. So I'm going to go check my dimensions and then we'll get started. So back over to here, we can now go ahead and bring down this 12 from past the actual right here and down to fill it up to the, uh, you know, the black concrete, uh, build the black concrete to the floor even so that everything is not so much floating anymore. It's actually stuck to the floor. And although we're trying to make this spooky, we don't want everything to be levitating. There we go. <laughs> Looking good. So what we're going to do next, now that we've got that underside filled up there, We'll come over here and we're going to go behind the hotel, building this one up from the floor just here and going straight to the 14. Now what's going to happen here is we're going to build the black concrete layer so that we can close off this area um, in like a, I don't know really, like just sort of marking it out from above. Now the reason we do this is because we're going to actually include some of the scene in the black concrete. So we don't want to build the entire thing black concrete because we're going to end up destroying it anyways. So what we'll do is we'll start from here. We're going to go ahead and go diagonally back from the top there and build along three just here like so. Then I'm going to build along three again diagonally this way. So back in on myself just like so. And then I'm going to go ahead and build myself two just here going back again. And then I'm going to build myself, oh, just checking that's three. Yep. Looks a bit bigger than three. <laughs> I'm going to do two again, just here. So I have two lots of two. Then I'm going to go ahead and build myself a one block, just diagonally, just there like so. And then I'm going to go two this way instead now, just like so. And then I'm going to do diagonally just with the one block, just over here like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to angle this one so that it goes just over there. So all we'll do for this one is we'll take out this layer just here. I'm going to move it forward just there like so. So it now comes like a two just there on a diagonal. And that is perfect. Now we have ourselves this sort of marked out area ready for the hanging tree and this one ready for the mountain. I think we should build the mountain now actually. Let's go for it. So then for this mountain, we will take ourselves this block of raw copper first. We'll build our three, which is our foundation. And then we want to go three above this, just like so. Then here we'll build four. So that is one block over the sort of track layer. Here we'll do ourselves another three, just like so. And then here we'll do ourselves three in the floor, one granite slab, and then we're going to do a block just over it like so. Perfect. Then on this one, we'll do ourselves a granite slab on the top of this one in a second, just like so. I just lost my uh, picture I was using for reference. <laughs> oh no, there we go, got it back. Okay, then we need to go for a upside down stair just in here. Then two more blocks of copper above and a slab in the middle of that one. Then we're going to build this back just like this. You can actually build it straight from the floor. That would look better from the side angles. So I recommend doing that as well. Then we'll go for another slab just here, a block here and another slab just here. This one will build another slab this way. And then we can do ourselves some three granite blocks, sorry, three blocks of copper below granite stairs here on their side and then two more blocks above that one just there over here we'll go for one two three one two three just here and then another granite slab there we're actually going to do ourselves a granite stair just here like so and then we'll do another slab just next to it on the left side then around the corner again we'll bring ourselves copper up for the three we'll do one then we'll do ourselves a normal stair that way and then we'll do two blocks above, like so. That should connect to the fence, that is absolutely fine. We'll build a copper in there, and then we'll build behind this one, just so we can get the stairs covered up. So we'll go to the same layer, like so. Now in this one, just over here, we're gonna go up, so we're in line with the window, just there. So that's four blocks from the floor. And then we're actually gonna leave that one just plain, because we're gonna go behind it, and then add in some more copper, basically just straight up to the ceiling height, just there. It's not really much going on. You can switch this one out for maybe a slab or something just to give it a bit more texture, 
but it's up to you guys what you want to do there. Behind it anyways we're going to add in another layer and that will sort of stop anything from being seen from this angle. You can see there's little gaps throughout the ride so we're going to go ahead and well sorry throughout the mountain so we're just going to close them up by adding in the blocks below. Perfect! Now we need to go above this so up on the top we will take this block back for about um, three blocks so one is already there two and three then we'll go out on the side for one block on the left then we'll do ourselves a stair down here a block just in that one there and then we'll build this down so we can close up the mountain there if you want to add in a stair on this side like so just to detail it again that's fine and then we'll go on into this and just close it up from the side of the saloon just like so looking good now I'll go close up this one as well just by adding in a couple blocks there up here we want to add in ourselves a stair maybe on its side just here and then we'll do two blocks of granite uh, behind it just with our slabs like so then we're going to go two blocks of copper this way and two slabs this way then we'll do ourselves a block of raw copper here another slab here a block of granite here and a slab there like so then we're going to go for slab here here and one behind the stair like so and then we'll go for a block of copper just in there like that and you can actually sort of you can either build below this with the copper coming up from the floor and then maybe doing another slab in there or something but it's up to you guys what you want to do or you can even leave it plain maybe adding a stair instead as long as you close up around its sides just like so up to you guys that looks pretty cool let just close up the front as well there we go now then over this side we're going to go for um, one two more granite blocks here another one there and then a slab on that one then we want to go ahead and leave a gap here so I'm going to do a slab in the floor behind the stair then I'll go for a block of um, copper just there then here I'll add in a block of copper and two more slabs there a block of copper here and a slab just there then two blocks of copper just here and this one will have a slab on as well just there then I'm going to go behind this and I'm going to build one two blocks just here I'm going to swap this one out just for a backward stair just here or a normal stair it's up to you guys what you want to do yeah normal stair actually looks better just like so pretty cool then I'm going to build this block going back for another block just there then I'll come to this one and I'll build this forward for two going to add in a slab on this one and a block here and then I'm going to add in two blocks there now this is going to be the start of the uh, the actual manor up here now it's quite close to the stairs of the roof but that's not to worry about don't worry about that it's good we'll do ourselves a um, spruce slab just up here we'll do it there on that one then we'll do ourselves one there and one here as well this one can be turned into a block and then we'll build another block on that one as well nice one now that's going to be the start of the manor obviously so we'll leave that for now coming back to the mountain we'll go for another block of you know what we'll switch this into a stair and then we'll do a block of granite back here just up there so it's going to be just under the slab like so we'll do ourselves a block of copper in here in the stair so you can knock that out and replace it just like so we're trying to incorporate this into the mountain range here so don't worry about knocking things through or anything and this one will add some blocks above. Cool. Uh, now then, down this side, just want to make sure I've got everything in the right spaces. Actually, that looks really cool. Happy days, that's looking good. So if we come up to the top, we can go ahead and sort this out. So I'm going to build the mountain bit in here, just by adding in some blocks there. I'm going to add in myself a slab just to here, like so. Then I'm going to do a stair coming down the back of it here, add in some more blocks just to fill that in. Behind the stair over here, I'll do myself a slab. Then I'll do another block going down, just like so. Then I want a block coming down from this one, so just in here. And then I'm going to do myself two blocks this way, and two slabs this way, like so. That'll close up that nice gap. And then back here, we just need to sort of fill in this area now. So we'll do blocks to that space. We'll dot some slabs around the place like this, just to give it that more rocky sort of aspect. We'll add another slab here and we're sort of trying to build around where we're going to put the manor just up here for the manor itself it's pretty simple stuff we go ahead and take ourselves some stripped dark oak wood we'll do two blocks here and two blocks the other side 
two spruce fences here, two spruce fences here. This one can be floating if you want to, that's fine. We'll do ourselves a slab down here. And then we'll do ourselves blocks of copper this side, just so the fences have something to connect to on that other side as well. Then we'll do blocks here. We'll go behind this one and add in more blocks here and here. And then we'll stack one just there as well. Again, starting to make that sort of mountain uh, range sort of look. So we'll do it there as well. And then we'll build this up and behind the actual sort of point of the building. Going back to the manor, we will add in ourselves a dark oak slab here and here. Stairs here and stairs here. Then we'll do a spruce block, a spruce block so it's visible. A slab on top of that one, a dark oak slab. Dark oak stairs coming back from it, going on their particular sides. And then you can actually build yourselves logs behind this section too. The back is not important because no one's gonna see that. We just want the front to be seen in all its glory like that. If you wanted to add in maybe another stair here and here, for example, feel free, then this one can be a slab or, a, or another stair if you want, or just even stairs kind of like that going down. And then we'll do ourselves the logs underneath that. Oops, sorry. Just like this. And then finally to sort of close up this area just add in a bunch of copper blocks under here just to make it look you know like it's all filled up it's a bit of a cheat way not gonna lie but uh, it does save you a lot of time and if you've worked hard which you have on the rest of the thing then it won't be too much trouble at all just gonna add in some sort of mountain stuff just like this and there we go epic that looks so cool yeah we are liking that that looks awesome great job guys well done so now we'll take ourselves a block of raw copper again some cyan terracotta stone slabs some black concrete powder some acacia wood some dead bushes some blue concrete powder blue wool and finally some oak fences as well oak is a material we don't really see in this tutorial it's quite a lot of jungle and stuff like that so it is nice to be using good old oak once again. Let's go to the very top. We will go ahead and build ourselves another block here. We will go ahead and build two just here and then fill that in like so. I'm actually going to go two over and knock those ones out. If I, if I can actually get this to be a little bit closer to the building, that'd be really good. And then we can connect it to this one instead. So what I'm going to do is just kind of keep this at two. That is our sort of level. So here we'll go ahead and build two here and one there with one just there. Then we'll do the same again, it's down here coming outwards, just like so. And then on this layer, we're gonna come out again, but this one's gonna come out just for two, and then two, so like that and that. Then we'll drop down again, just here, and again, just here, like so. These ones can come straight down, just like so. Oops, my mistake, like that. Make sure to fill in the gaps behind the stairs just so that nothing is being shown through. We don't want any spaces. Then on this side over here, once you get to this section, you can build in one block down there, leaving a gap of two there. And then we'll build this forward, kind of arching forward for three jumps in total. One, two, and three, like that. On this top one, you can go to its right and add in one, two blocks like so. And that kind of completes the mountain there. Oh, on the below though, you can add in those two blocks just there next to it, if you wanna sort of finalize it there. Then maybe build it down to the floor. Epic, now we're done. <laughs> awesome. Now we can take a stone slab. We'll go behind this one and add in one there. A gray terracotta just here. And then we'll do two gray terracottas just back there into the wall there. Nice. Then we're gonna go to the front side and we're gonna build the podium sort of thing that uh, the phantom himself is stood on. So we're coming to the floor down this way. We wanna build ourselves up with our gray terracotta, cyan terracotta, sorry. Then we'll do a stone slab here. Then I'm gonna go for terracotta above the slab. Then I'm gonna go for this to build a stone block in here. Then I'm gonna do my, uh, you know what? Hmm, no. Then we'll do ourselves cyan terracotta. Then we'll do cyan terracotta to that layer with a stone slab on top. Then we'll do this again, 
But uh, instead of getting to the very top here with a Siam Terracotta, we'll do a block of stone just there. Then we'll do a slab of stone and then we'll build our Siam Terracotta there. And then we actually want some coarse dirt in here. So you can swap out your raw copper now just for coarse dirt in there like so. Add in dead bushes on both sides and we are finished with the dead bushes. Awesome. That is a good milestone to get to. Now back in this way, we'll take our Cyan Terracotta on this one, going curving around that stone block, like so. We'll do a stone block in here, uh, like that. We'll do Cyan Terracotta along for those three. You can actually take yourself a um, two blocks of black concrete powder if you want to, or you can use the black wall, up to you, to build the Phantom's body just there. Now the concrete powder looks cooler because it has a lot more texture than the wall does but um, if you wanted to use the wall it's a little bit more shiny but um, feel free if you, that is how we did it before so if you want to stick to how we did it before you know to keep the consistency then please feel free to do that this is looking so cool guys well done this is awesome now we'll go ahead and build ourselves a slab of stone just next to it then we want to go to here and build an acacia root just there in case you would of course but we're building a root of the tree we'll build two blocks behind this one with one to the right down there this one can go one two and this one one two just like so we'll build ourselves a stone slab here and then we'll build ourselves acacia wood just up to the same layer as this one i'm going to fill that one under and that one as well and maybe that one just like so i'm going to do myself a stone uh, block just here under the stone slab kind of diagonally down and I'll do myself two cyan terracottas here and then we'll go for two there and one there as well now these are going to co be covered up with like a coffin on the podium here so we'll leave that to uh, well for the later section we'll do ourselves a stone slab here and then we'll go for one two oops, sorry three uh, curved around cyan terracottas just there now we're coming back to this section. We'll go for one, two, cyan terracotta. But just here before we reach the uh, barrel, we'll do ourselves a stone slab. On this one, we want to add in ourselves a black concrete powder just there. We're actually going to do this from the floor going up and above that one just for one. Then again for another one. So there's two there, like so. Then we can come forward from this one and build up to the same layer as that previous one just there. We'll add in a cyan terracotta and we can do ourselves, I think there may be another tree root just around the corner here with acacia. So we can add that in just there. Cool. Actually there is because this is where we sit a dog a bit later on uh, which is going to be sort of leashed to the tree. Now that is giving the illusion that there's a noose on the tree and that's what we're going for. But um, we add the dog around here so it looks, well it's a more friendly way of adding it just in there. Of course Minecraft don't add nooses for the obvious reasons. But um, we want to still try and get the effect in there. Just go in with the, uh, with the leash. So if you want to take your acacia again, we'll go behind the tree stump down here. We'll go in this gap and build this one up and past it for three, just like so. Then we'll do the one to its left, going up and past this one for, well, let's just go for another one past it. So that's going to be four, just there. Then we'll come to this one again and we'll build a block in here. Oh, sorry. We'll go from the ground up just so we can keep it consistent so we do it just here so it's above the sort of is it above no actually we're going to go in line with where the phantom is just here yeah that looks better cool then we can go ourselves a block up from this one so just here so leaving a space between it and we'll build a branch so we'll go two blocks this way one forward just here then we'll do one in oops sorry one in this gap one here and one around the corner there like so nice one that is one branch of the tree done now we'll go ahead and build ourselves two concrete powders just back here. Of course they're going to fall. So we'll build it there and then another one just here like so. Nice one. Now I'm going to flip my picture around this way. Add in more concrete powder down this way. So we have what's going on behind the barrel is going to be some concrete powder again. Just stacked one block above it. And here we'll do two blocks above the uh, pressure plate below. Then we'll do some in line with the stair, just there. That is great. And that obviously concludes that area just there. So up this way a little bit, we will do, so from this one, we're gonna do one 
a little bit higher. Nope, we'll do it in line, just there. And then we'll do the next one a little bit higher, just by a block, like so. Cool. And then we'll go from this one, which should be coming up to the stump area. So we'll go to this side instead. And we'll build in one diagonally to the same layer, like that. And then this one over here is going to be across the same layer as this one before it. But it's going to be in line with that one, just there. And hopefully that will be in line with the above as well. Yes, kind of. That's okay. That's actually perfect. All right, nice one. <laughs> Phew, okay, good. And then we'll go for adding in ourselves a stone slab just in here. And then we'll do ourselves cyan terracotta just there between them. And then in here, behind the phantom and everything else just here, we'll add in another tree branch there. And then we'll do another one just there as well, just to conclude that area. Nice one. So now onto the tree. Go ahead and add in another branch. Or actually, we'll add in two layers for the tree stump just in here. Uh, for now, we can do it to the all to that one just there. So we can leave this one kind of on its own. We will go to the one behind this one. So just here. And we'll add in ourselves... Um, we'll add in two blocks just there. Then we'll drop down diagonally for one there. And then we're going to go for one diagonally... I think this one comes forward just over here like that and then it's going to have like a almost pincer effect like this but we'll knock off the the ones like that so it stays just like so then we'll build one just down and out the back so we'll do one block here and then we'll do one diagonally there so it's above the uh, black concrete powder just like that and then we need to go above this even further so on this side we'll do one two then we'll go for one here with one forward, knock out the one behind. And then we'll go for filling in the gap just here with three. We'll build this stacked up uh, just with, hold on a second. You know what, I'm gonna come back to that in a second. Let's instead go around to this side and go from this one here, knocking out that one in the back, building this one back for one, up for one, diagonally to here. And then this one up and the crap uh, around for one, just like so. Cool. Yeah, that's good. Okay, then over here, we will do one diagonally off from this one forward, like so. And then we'll do another up just here. And then we'll go back on ourselves, but diagonally over here for two. And this will actually be where the uh, sort of hanging noose is going to be. So we'll do four fence posts just here. One, two, three, four. Now that should be diagonally away from the rest of the tree, which is the hardest part to get done. That's why I was being extra careful. We don't want any of the fences to connect to it because at the end of the day, this is trying to represent a branch or a, a part of the rope or something. So we need to keep that all just flush to the uh, the tree without actually touching it, which is hard to do. So let's go over here. We're adding ourselves another block just here like so. You can add in one there if you want to as well, that's fine. And then we'll go ourselves diagonally down and to the left for two just in here like so that is looking so creepy awesome yes this is looking so cool so now before we continue with our blue materials i just want to go back to this section here now because we actually managed to get the mountain in two blocks which is awesome we can take our black concrete powder back now sorry a black concrete back and we're just going to close up the gap in here instead so we're going to knock out this wall behind and just close it from here instead so if you just want to kind of scrub that back and then just add it in in there then it will all be on the right level which is great a little bit time consuming but you guys got this get it across to the same layer again so in here just as that one and then yeah we'll continue with the rest of the the bluing i guess you could say <laughs> okay so there we go if you look at this side now that is looking really good the black concrete is there and it's right against the rock face, which is brilliant. So now if we go to here, we can actually knock this one off because we have that diagonal one just there, which is brilliant, which is what we need instead. And we can add in our black concrete on this one, coming straight down to the bottom because this is still the rock face, so it's not gonna need any of the blue. And then this one can start the new row just there to close up against the building. So just bring all the black concrete up to there. Oh, did I add in the block? Yep. And there we go, that's ready for later. 
For this one, we're going to do ourselves some blue uh, concrete powder and some blue wool. So what we'll do is we want to drop down to the very bottom of the floor. We are going to spin around so we're inside of the ride over here. And we'll build ourselves concrete powder so it goes up and just above the uh, black concrete powder, basically, like this. So it kind of shadows it from behind. So we're trying to make it look like it's a, a sort of night sky. So we're doing the horizon line with this blue. So we'll do it in the little gap here. Then we'll do it up from this one. Up again for the next one. Then it goes back down for that one. And this one here. And there again. But make sure every single one is over the black concrete powder, just like so. And that should be looking good. Which is looking awesome. So now all that's left to do is to add in our blue wool to go over the concrete powders. With a bit of luck, this should connect to the black concrete above, which it does, which is awesome. If it doesn't, feel free to change the black concrete above. That's not the most important section. So you can always change and adapt that accordingly. But we just need to get ourselves the tree to be 3D and not stuck to the edge of the wall, basically. So we do this to do that. And then we'll take a look at it in a second. Popping on inside. You should have this. Wow, that is so cool. It's like ominous. It's so creepy. Brilliant job, guys. It's looking awesome. Oh, over here, by the way, I know this looks a little bit dull, so feel free to change this one up to match up the rest of the building. So you can just do it to there. Like that. And then when you look at it from this angle, it just looks like a whole new sort of section here. Which is perfect. Lovely. Very well done, guys. That is looking brilliant. And here as well, feel free. Right, now we can continue. <laughs> so now then, as far as the uh, blue wall goes, I did get a little bit carried away. We're only going to need two layers of that, so I've grabbed myself black concrete back for that section in a minute. We're also going to need ourselves the Phantom's Banner, which you should have from a previous section, so if you want to grab that out again, then go for it. We're going to need a lever as well, some of these barriers that we used in part 14, a bat egg, uh, a lead, a wolf, something to tame the wolf with, and a wither skeleton skull. The bones, by the way, they're so big in Minecraft. They look massive. So let's go ahead and firstly place ourselves the wither skeleton skull on our phantom over here, preferably facing the diagonal sort of direction of the saloon. So he's kind of looking at you as you go around the corner. Then we're going to have ourselves the levers going up for his arms because he's like, ha 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 ha, you know, he's laughing really evilly. Then we'll do ourselves the banner on the front there so you know it's the phantom himself. Then we're going to go ahead and place ourselves a bat up here, but firstly we need to barrier it off. So we do ourselves barrier here, there, and then we're, oops, sorry, we're going to need one just over here. And then we're going to need one above as well, but of course we need to get the bat in this area first. Bit of a nightmare, so we're going to do it on the side. Uh, actually, let me place one just so I can place one quick. So I'm going to go for, ah, oh, not again. Yes, phew, one in there like so. <laughs> it's a real challenge to get the bat in there. But they should hang it upside down just there from the barrier. Looks a bit strange, I know, because there's nothing to actually hang from. But uh, yeah, that looks really cool. Then we're going to take ourselves a wolf back here on the tree stump, hidden behind the actual... Ah, lovely. Thank you for loving me straight away. Uh, behind the actual uh, stump here. So we want that hidden out the way, because we're not intending to have a wolf on show here. So we'll take ourselves the lead from the dog, of course and then onto the fence post just there. And it should look like, you know, there's sort of a hanging noose up there. You can see the dog's bum from back here, which is a little bit, you know, spoils the illusion, but you can always cover that up if you want to. Feel free. So uh, yeah, that's looking pretty cool. You can even make the dog a little dog house back here just by pushing that block out and pushing him under there, him or her. And now it's not so easy to see, just there like so. Come on, Bruce, go away, man. Yeah, go in the saloon, go and have a beer, whatever you want. <laughs> so the next thing to do is, of course, take the black concrete back and just make it so there's only two blocks of the blue uh, wool above the actual concrete powder. That was my mistake, guys. I really messed it up. Oh, no, I let the bat escape. No. We're going to need that back. Ah, oh, my mistake. There we go. So, yeah, we need to get ourselves two blocks of the blue concrete, uh, sorry, the blue wool just above the actual uh, concrete powder below. Little bit tricky, 
but it's good to get done. And on certain sections around the corner, a little bit later on, I'll show you in a minute. That's still two. Yeah, good, good, good. You gotta look, you gotta keep your eye out for the actual concrete powder because uh, we do change up the sort of diorama a little bit here. It's like here, it goes down again. So you need to incorporate that with the uh, black concrete. It looks good once it's done, but it's a little bit of a pain to get done. So here, for example, that's still two, that's fine. But then again, it goes down into there. So just remember the code, two blue concrete above the concrete powder, and you should be able to good to go here as well. Like so, build that one up, knock out these ones. And if we look at it again in a second, it'll all look pretty cool. That looks pretty cool. Awesome. Let's finish up with some materials here. And then we're going to have to call it a day for today's section because I don't want to keep you for way, way longer than I was intending to, which was, yeah, I, I think I got a little bit too ahead of myself. But be rest assured, I'm going to be working on this very, very speedy. I'm going to get this done and out to you all very quickly because I want to finish this with you all way in advance for Halloween so you can enjoy it. So, um, yeah, we'll go ahead and grab the final materials for today's episode. And then in part 17, we will complete the Phantom Manor ride. It's going to be awesome. Now all that's left to grab just here, we will need ourselves some black wool, some crimson trapdoors, some red carpet, a skeleton skull, and a cobweb as well. Firstly, you want to build the coffin open, open just here, or the casket. It's going to be open, so we need to add in ourselves a lot of sort of trapdoors for this section. We'll do one black wall just here, and then one, oops, one just diagonally away just there. Make sure to leave yourselves some grey terracotta out the front there, just so there's three in a row. We'll do ourselves crimson trapdoors folded on these kind of four sides like so. Uh, then we'll do ourselves red carpet on top to kind of show the illusion of the lining for the inside of the coffin. Just like that. Pretty simple. And then over here we'll add in ourselves a cobweb above and a skeleton skull just below facing the track like that. Now everything is prepared for part 17. Well, thank you so, so much assassins for joining me for part 16. It has been so cool. Look at this hanging tree, it's looking awesome. Shouldn't usually say that, that's not a good thing to say. But uh, in Minecraft, this is looking awesome and it is for the Phantom Manor ride. So just clarify that. <laughs> but um, yeah, thank you so much for joining us for today's episode. If you did enjoy this one, please be sure to drop a like on it. That would be epic. Look, the Phantom is celebrating because of the like. Thank you guys, you made him happy. If you do want to consider subscribing, if you haven't already, join the Assassin Hood today for free by subscribing and uh, that'll allow you to see episode 17 coming very, very shortly, which is going to include the final, final section of Phantom Manor. What it does mean is by starting a new section for this little sort of area back here, it means we should have enough time to actually build ourselves the enclosure, uh, the enclosed roof for the entire thing. So as you can see, this has an entire just black concrete roof over it, which means that you can see everything in here a lot brighter, which is what we're going to get done as well. And you can see there's lights under the carpet. So uh, yeah, the lighting is going to be probably the trickiest, most time consuming section. So if you can get that done in part 17, as well as building the rest of the ride, then that is a win-win situation. It's going to be epic. If you want to follow me up on my social medias, guys, please do that with the links in the description. And until the very next time, I will see you for part 17 coming super super soon thank you so much assassins really do appreciate your patience take care have an excellent rest of your day and goodbye for now